Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Davenport. I'm an interior designer and I own a home decor store. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what are the trends for 2023, so stay tuned. To start, I wanna say, if your decor choices make you happy, that is all that matters because bringing trends into your home don't necessarily make a happy and more beautiful home. It is all about bringing in the things that are special to you and surrounding yourself with the people you love. Now, if you're not quite sure the difference between trend and trendy, I made a video that will explain the key differences. Now let's get into the trends for 2023. Lots of designers are adding additional seating by placing two ottomans across from a coffee table, typically in front of a fireplace or in a walkway. This is a great way to add texture and accent colors without breaking the bank. Not to mention, it's a great place for little kiddos to sit. Now I'm also seeing large ottomans replacing coffee tables. This is a great option for people who love to prop their feet up. However, I would highly recommend if you get an ottoman to prop your feet up, make sure you're going to get it in performance fabric. A large ottoman is a great way to soften the space, which might otherwise be a hard wood table. And of course you can add a tray and add accessories and have a place to put your drink if you're still wanting to have that ottoman functioning like a coffee table. All right, the second trend I'm seeing is moody color palettes. I'm seeing a lot of deep greens and deep blues. They're being used in bathrooms, in offices, even kitchen cabinets, and even the exterior of houses. I personally love bright and light colors, but I really appreciate the way moody colors can make you feel cozy and safe in a space. A lot of people are afraid to go bold with paint, but it can really establish a room especially if you choose the right paint color. Now a moody color palette can really darken the space, so it's really, really important to have the proper lighting and you wanna have the proper balance of lighting in the room so that it doesn't feel dingy. Another trend I'm excited to see is wallpaper. Now don't let me lose you here. Lots of us have nightmares of the war we waged removing old wallpaper, but wallpaper's back with some updates, including easy removal. Large mural styled wallpapers are going to be super big this year, including ones depicting beautiful vintage sceneries and florals. This is such a rich look and in the right space, it will look fabulous. This is one from one of my favorite Instagrammers, Anna Page, this is in her kitchen. Wallpapering small spaces is another way this trend is showing up. I am seeing it in hallways, bathrooms, um, laundry rooms. In fact, I hopped on that trend myself. Click here to check out the video of my laundry room. All right, another trend I'm seeing is monochromatic color schemes. I am seeing them in built-ins, wall colors, and draperies. For instance, that might include carrying that same wall color into your built-ins and your trim and even your draperies. Now by eliminating contrast in a space, it allows your eye to continually flow around the room and creates a sense of peace and simplicity. I really think this trend is a good one. The fifth trend, and this one is probably gonna be the one I am most excited to talk about, and that's antiques. Blending antiques with new pieces gives your home a story. It is a collected charm that you cannot get from Target. Bringing character into your home by select pieces, whether they're furniture or wall decor, it creates wonderful conversations with your friends and guests about the hunt on how you found them or the special story about how they were handed down to you. For me, bringing antiques into my home allows me to express my interest and my values like this clock that was my father's and this beautiful vintage art that reminds me of my mother. And not to mention, antiques are not always expensive. Find a local antique store or vintage shop. You'll never know what treasures you're gonna find. For instance, I found this gorgeous hutch on Facebook Marketplace for $200. It is in lovely condition and makes such a statement in my office in a way that a new bookcase could never do. And I also found these windows with the glass still in them at a flea market years ago for just $45. The hunt is so fun. 
Next is stone. I am seeing a lot of natural stone being used in kitchen backsplashes, fireplaces, and accent walls. Again, just like wallpaper, this is a blast from the past for some of us, but they're now introducing it in an old world European look. Kind of the grout is kind of smudged over it, a whitewashed look to make it look so old in age. I absolutely love it. Next trend I'm seeing is a lot of wood tones. Now don't get me wrong, this girl loves a beautiful, classy, hand-painted piece of furniture. In fact, I have several in my own home. I'm seeing a lean towards natural elements being used in the home, and having wood cabinets or wood furniture is a great way to incorporate that style into your home. So chippy furniture is on the way out, and unpainted furniture is in. Next is olive trees. Now I know last year I was talking all about fiddle leaf figs and they're beautiful. In fact, I have one in my home, but the gorgeous and elegant olive tree has made its way into the arena. Have an empty corner in your room? We'll try an olive tree this year. Number nine, deep colored bench seat sofas. The days of perfectly white or light sofas are being overshadowed by sofas upholstered in very deep colors like burgundy, navy, and green. I mostly saw olive and navy blue sofas at market. This is a great way to incorporate some color into your room and give it a super cozy feel. Now I also saw a lot of bench seating. Not quite sure what that is? I'll explain. Traditional seating on sofas can be either two cushions on the sofa or three all the way across, but bench seating is one continuous cushion all the way across the sofa. Now this look is much less stiff and more inviting than your traditional sofa and I'm all about it. And lastly, a trend that I'm seeing is dried florals. Okay, so this one I have to admit is a hard pill to swallow because it's flashing me back to the 80s, but are we seeing a trend here? Every style or trend comes back around someday except with a twist. And like Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, there is nothing new under the sun. So the twist with this revived trend is to have a collected, gathered from the field look. Not necessarily a bouquet of dried roses. Get this look by gathering together dried lavender, star flower, branches or pods. Now I don't think this trend will completely override faux florals, especially those that are made with beautiful florals. They are a timeless look, but I do think it's going to be the dominant choice for this year, so keep an eye out on it. Trends, they come and go, but the most important thing is to follow your gut. If you love something that's on trend, great, bring it into your house. If you don't like it, no worries, I promise the design police are not going to call you out. So as cheesy as this might sound. Follow your heart in making your own home. So hey, I'd like to know what you think about these trends. Like them, hate them, don't want to see them again, <laughs> but leave me some comments. I want to hear from you. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.